Hi, my name is John Morton and I'm a test and measurement application specialist here at TSI. This short video is going to focus on how to set up your TSI branded air velocity measurement instrument in order to perform a duct traverse. For more information on what a duct traverse is and how one is to be performed, please review the training video Performing a Duct Traverse found at the TSI HVAC and IAQ Training Center website. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using a TSI 9565 Velocicalc. This particular model comes with a variety of data logging capable features. Now having a data logging feature is very helpful when performing a duct traverse, as multiple measurements will be needed. This particular model comes with some advanced data logging features that you may not find on all of our air velocity measurement instruments, but the menu and the user interface are identical. Furthermore, I'll only be using those data logging features that are universal to all of the TSI branded data logging capable air velocity measurement instruments. The first thing I need to do is make sure the screen will be displaying the measurement I'm interested in, air flow. To select what measurements will appear on the display, click on menu using the middle soft key. Arrow down to display setup and press enter to open this menu. In this case, I will make sure that flow is highlighted and press the middle soft key to make this my primary measurement. Press enter to save these changes and we'll be back at the main menu. Now we need to set the correct dimensions for my duct into the VelociCalc. Remember, airflow is calculated by multiplying velocity and the square footage of the area being measured. While back in the main menu, arrow down to Flow Setup. Press the Enter button. Use the right or left soft key to scroll through the duct options. You have the option to select round duct, rectangular duct, or if you already know the square footage of the duct, you can use duct area. There are other options as well. For the purpose of this example, let's assume we are measuring in a round duct. So I display that option, arrow down to enter settings, and press the enter button. I will now enter in the dimensions of the duct, in this case the diameter, because we are measuring a round duct, using the up and down arrows. I hit enter to save these changes. Then press escape to move back to the main menu. Since we'll be making use of the data logging feature to take this airflow measurement, we will need to verify we are using the correct data logging settings. From the main menu screen, scroll down to data logging and press the enter button to open the data logging menu. First, we want to make sure the appropriate measurements are being logged. With measurements highlighted, click on the Enter button. If the unit is set to display, it means that if the measurement is displayed on the main screen, then that measurement will be logged. This is the default setting. Those measurements set to Off will not be logged, and those set to On will be logged whether or not the measurement is displayed. You can use the soft keys to change these options. As long as Flow is set to Display or On, we can push the Enter button to save our changes and leave this screen. Now scroll down to Log Mode and use the left or right Soft key to scroll through our options till Auto Save is displayed. Using Auto Save Mode means we won't have to save each individual measurement manually. They will be saved automatically. This is the easiest logging method to use. Scroll down and highlight Log Settings and press Enter. We need to select the sample time. This is how long the unit will take a re reading at any given point. And in the end, log the average for that reading. If you have turbulent airflow, having a longer sample time can help to average it out. In my case, I will choose 10 seconds, but just know that this may need to be adjusted according to your specific conditions. 
change the sample time using the up and down arrows, selecting the minutes and seconds using the right and left soft keys. Once the appropriate sample time is selected, press enter to save these changes. At this point, you will want to note what test number has been selected. Each duck traverse performed should be saved under a different test number. In this case, the test is 001. Each sample taken in our duck traverse will fall under one test number. Press Escape to return to the main menu and Escape again to get back to the main screen where our measurements will be displayed. We are now ready to take our readings. Press Enter when the probe is in the proper position within the duct. The unit will display a cylinder with an arrow pointing to it and it will count down from your selected sample time. In this case it will count down from 10 according to the sample time I selected earlier. I would do this same step, pressing the enter button and waiting for the 10 second countdown at each of the points in my duct traverse. After all the points have been measured across this section of the duct, I can review the statistics to find out what the overall average airflow rate was. I can press the right soft key to open up the statistics screen. I see that flow is the measurement I am displaying, and the average is the airflow rate of the duct. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up a TSI branded air velocity measurement instrument for the purpose of performing a duct traverse. Be sure to check out our other training videos also found at the TSI HVAC and IAQ Training Center website. Thank you.